This is the DR880 Boss drum machine. Pretty nice. Just turn it on. You can see it moving there. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Okay, let's try with the foot switch. Okay, we'll try a foot switch. This is a common foot switch. And nothing. Nothing. Well, all a foot switch does is like it just shorts the thing. So here's one connected there. We'll see what happens. Nothing. That one still works. Look at that. See, that's working. Nothing. Okay, here's a VOM so we can see what's going on here. Um, see it's zero when they're touching. Some other number one when they're not touching. So we'll see what the circuit's doing. Let's see, there's black on the outside, red on the inside. Let's see. I'm showing it's a short, I might have it messed up. Well, there's no contact there. We'll try it the other way. Okay, we're going to try a, a VOM on this, just it's on continuity. Here's my, just a regular cord. Going to touch it here. See what's going on. See, it's one, and they're touching it's zero. So, I'm going to put the black on this side, red on that side. See what's going on. It says five. One, five. That means it's connected. I'm going to try it the other way. Now, it's getting something there. Oh, look! The drum machine went on. Why is that? Look, it went off. On, off, on, off, okay, you hold it, and you let go, and you let go, it's supposed to go on, there we go, hold it, nothing, let go, there, went on. So it looks like um, something's going on there. We'll see. Well, I just happen to have another VOM. So we're going to see what that thing's doing to it. Now this VOM, it just goes random like that. And when you touch them, it says zero volts. It's on volts. So I'm going to hook it up to this other one here. See what it's doing that the machine likes. There I'm going to hook red to red. Overload. Oh, it says 2.998. We'll say that's 3 volts. 
I guess this machine likes three volts. Well, we've got to get a three volt um, foot switch, I guess. Okay, this is a FS5L bus foot switch. It's got a battery in it. Okay, look, but it's going off, on, off, nothing. Okay, let's check out this foot switch. I'm going to hook it up to my VOM, see what it's doing. Remember, if I touch them together, it just goes random. No, it goes zero, and that's like random. Okay, we'll see what it's doing. I'll put the red there, the black there. And it's saying it's just going random, which is right. We t turn on this machine here, and it says zero volts. Hit it again, and it's just going crazy. Hit it again, zero volts. Well, zero volts isn't going to do it. Um, we need three volts, like the VOM was putting out. Okay, we'll look inside this thing. There's a little push button in there. See, nothing happens. But when you go ahead and put your jack in there, see the light goes on, it goes off, goes on and off. Well, it turns out the switch has nothing to do with the light. It's not giving three volts, it's just turning the light on. Basically, all this circuitry and all this light does nothing. It does not give three volts to the connectors like it needs. Well, the first thing we've got to do is get rid of all this junk that doesn't do nothing. See all this stuff? Nothing. Just take it off. There's a little screw here. You can use a wrench if you got one. I happen to have one. But, um, yeah, just loosen that off. Okay, now we got to take off these two screws here. There's one, two screws. Okay, um, now it all comes out. A little switch on there basically does nothing. But what we're going to do is we're going to save this battery there and the wire. Okay, I'm just going to cut these wires off because... Um, we don't need the circuit board, it doesn't do anything anyway. Just makes a little light come on. That's a lot of circuitry for making a light come on. Then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to strip these wires again um, so we can go ahead and make contact. Okay, um Here's the wire strippers. Um, that's real tiny. We'll go on the tiniest one and see what goes on. Oh yeah, that's a good strip. It's the tiniest one, okay? There we go. Well, let's try it out now see how the thing works. Okay, I checked the batteries. They happen to be, there's two of them, they're one and a half a piece, so that makes three volts. And you go ahead and 
touch that to the foot switch connector. Voila! Off. Watch. When you take it off is when it goes. It does nothing when you let go. Okay, so when you push it, nothing happens. And when you let go, it's going to switch. Oh, it's time for the shopping list. Um, this thing, um, uh, this thing, I don't know, it's all soldered in there or nothing. I might as well buy a new one. So I bought one of these. It's got the nut on it. It's a little quarter inch jack. I asked them if they had any springs. They didn't. This thing here's got some nice springs. Um, we'll just use it. That should be a good spring for us. Oh, one more thing. A few little terminals. Um, these will help us um, hook everything together. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a little hard to see, but these um. These little connectors here, they've got some plastic on it. You need to remove that from two of them. It just pulls off like that. Kind of like that. Um, looks like I need a, something to hold the other end. <coughs> I don't want to come. There, see? Um, the plastic comes right off there. you got to do that on two of them. Okay, I'm going to install the quarter inch jack. That just goes right here. There's the washer. And there's the nut. Now, that nut is something easy to. Well, I'm inept at this, but uh, we'll get it. I'll try again. Okay, I'm putting the um, little nut on there. It's really hard to do. I'll get it on there. I'm going to tighten it down. That's pretty snug. Well, I'm soldering. I'm using a microscope here because I can't see very well. I think I got it. Okay, the red wire, I'm going to go ahead and just trip it to one of these terminals here. It's this red there. It's the one I want.
Okay. I'm going to um, I'm going to put that screw back on. I'm going to hook these terminals like that and tighten it down. There we go. I'm going to do the same on this other side. I'm going to hook a terminal and then one of those bare terminals. I've got it somewhere. I'm going to hook that one there and then a wire over to there. Okay, I got this tiny little piece there. The speaker wire is going to go in there. I'm going to crimp it first because uh, that soldering is going to be hard to do. And I guess I want the red and blue. Okay, that's a good crimp. Okay, do the soldering. No, that wasn't bad. Okay, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. Um, there's the terminal, then a little extra terminal there with the insulation removed. Okay, that's snug. Now see, there's that gap there. I'll show you what we do with that. It's alive! It's alive! Watch this! You just contact these two. There it's on. Oops, just for a second. There it's on. There it's off. On. Off. <laughs> okay, we just need something to, to cover those two things. What I did is I put our spring right in there. And hopefully when it comes down, it'll touch those things. just like that. Of course what I'm going to have to do is adjust my wire a little bit, my spring. So I'm going to adjust the spring now so it'll work. Okay, this is how the spring is going to work. Um, it's just going to go like that. See this? Whoops. They're on. Off. And the spring, we'll put it right in here somehow. I'm going to have to modify it. Now when it closes, that should work. Okay, now this was a hard step, but what I did is I um, pushed the small end of the of spring I put it around the peg. There's a peg here and a peg there. 
this is the peg that normally gets used for the little switch. But I pushed it around there. I just pushed in like this and got it around there. And it happens that I don't have to trim anything or everything. Everything came out perfect somehow. I got lucky. Okay, I um, put the cover back on. And with the switch here, it seems to work good. Look at that. On, off. On, off. Voila! I guess put the little tiny screws on the back and we're done.